come with Kevin Durant on the team. You guys started to talk about that a second ago. Now, Skip, you have a fabulous podcast, and this week you were talking about Katie's choice to join Golden State and that it saved Steph's legacy but wrecked LeBron's. Skip said if KD had stayed in OKC, LeBron would be 6-4 and four in the finals instead of 4-6. and six. Some really interesting arguments. Shannon, dive in here with me. Do you agree or disagree with Skip's premises? Uh, I don't agree. I, um, I agree that we might be looking at um, – it, it didn't wreck LeBron's legacy. I mean, LeBron James is 4-6, and six, yes – but he still has four MVPs. He's still on the cusp of being the all-time leading scorer. He's an 18-time All-Star. He's a 17, 18-time All-NBA player. I don't think LeBron's legacy is wrecked. I do think probably a lot more people would look at him, um, and 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 some will say, well, then he would have a more compelling argument for being the, the goat, be, uh, being the goat. Although I believe that he is based on total body of work, but I don't believe that it, it wrecked his legacy. Now, could it possibly have? Helps, yeah. We would view Steph totally different mm -hmm. as opposed to being three and one against LeBron if he's one and three against LeBron because that's what he's holding on. He's in LeBron's era and he says, Well, I have a three and one finals record against LeBron James. So you're, you're three and one, 2015, 16. Yeah, three and one, three and one, three and one. He won, he won mm -hmm. three with KD. With, yeah. Yep. So he says, I have a three and one. And everybody says that. So you're right. I believe, I don't. Yeah, we would look at we would look at Steph Curry differently, Skip, because if he's one in three in the finals, even with those two MVPs, we're looking at him different. Absolutely, you you make a very you make a very compelling case. I do not believe that it wrecked it because if you look at it, they're not beating. That's why he got on that plane with Clay and Myers and Steve Kerr and Draymond. This is what K Skip KD averaged in the in the in the 2017 finals. Kyrie averaged 29 a game. He had 38 in game three. He had 40 in game four. LeBron James had 34, 12, and 10, and they lost in five. That's what he averaged for the series. Yep. That's what he averaged for the series, and they lost in five. So without KD, they're going to get beat. The brakes beat off them. And they knew that. That's why they went and got KD after 2016. They were Bingo. never going to beat Kyrie and LeBron never. again. Never. Agreed. And they knew that. They so knew. I, they could get on there and Draymond could have his podcast and he do a, does a great job. And Steph can say LeBron was whining and all that he wants to. But that's why they went and got Kevin Durant. Because they needed an equalizer. Someone that could say, you know what, go get a bucket. We can drop the ball down to you and you can get a bucket. They weren't going to beat him again. So yes, it changed the way we view Steph Curry. We would look at him totally different. With, two, with those two MVPs, he won those in the regular season. But it's the three and one record that he has against LeBron that people like he beat LeBron three times. Yeah, he did. Kevin Durant changed this, changed Steph Curry's fortune. He changed he his career. It changed the way we look at him. I disagree with you and say it wrecked LeBron. I think LeBron is just fine. But the Warriors needed KD and KD needed the Warriors. But you're absolutely right, Skip. The way Kyrie was playing, Kyrie was at his apex of superpowers. 29 points. Let that sink Shannon, in. He averaged 29, and LeBron the averaged a triple-double, 34, 12, and I mean, the pressure doesn't go up. They we weren't going to beat him because you had to take the the out and remove Kevin Durant's 35 this points a game because that's what KD not, averaged in 2017. So you're absolutely one, right. So it changed the way we view Steph Curry. No, no, KD coming to Golden State. There's no reason to disqualify unless you want to come up with a question. No, I don't want to raise it. It's a three then, it's a three today. Kevin Durant this year, round one versus these Celtics, just shrank. No, he I'm got going completely to buy it. overmatched. He got because bullied. This is still is the what icing happened. on the cake. And when, Into because no this is not a career submission. defining That's moment. what happened. I was the first no, one to come no, out here and uh, call him uh, Kevin win, Buchanan. Yeah, I so say, you know I, I will be objective about him pressure. when it's time. If he had only had but those two wins with Kevin Durant, I would say there was a turn look back on July the 4th of 2016, Durant this year, round one versus the It a watershed moment in the history of this league. It is a turning point. It is a north-south moment for legacies and careers because Kevin shocked the NBA world by not staying in Oklahoma City, which yeah. most people thought oh, he'll stay with his little buddy yeah. Russ, yeah. right? Yes. What? 
It was the biggest bombshell dropped in NBA free agency ever, unless you want to go. Kawhi Ka- didn't go to the Lakers. Kawhi had an earthquake moment. Okay, you, you remember that? Literally, literally, an literally a little earthquake when he went to the Clippers. But this was Kevin Durant, who's a cut above Kawhi. This, yeah. this is yeah. going to the highest level. This mm-hmm. is when I began to call him best player on the planet, because he said, "No, I can't win with this little man in Oklahoma City as my primary decision maker. I've tried it, but I'm in, going into my tenth year." So I am going to maximize my chances of winning my first ring in my 10th NBA season. Mm-hmm. I'm going to join forces with that same team that we had down three games to one in the conference finals. Correct. And yet you have made the case he needed them as much as they needed him. Right. But I am here to tell you, as I look back and hark back on the magnitude of that moment, the pressure on Kevin Durant was extraordinary because he joined Golden State, because they had crumbled with a three games to one lead over LeBron and company and blown it with two of the last three at Oracle. So the NBA world is looking at Kevin Durant as you better be the difference maker. And you don't think Kevin knew he's got high basketball IQ. He knew what loomed on the horizon collision course with LeBron and Kyrie and company and Kevin Love, but collision course with LeBron for the at least the next two finals. Yes. And it was 17 and 18, right on cue. It, yeah. it, it turned up Kevin Durant versus LeBron. And what did Kevin do in a game three in 2017 in LeBron's house? Well, boy, it went down to the wire. And Kevin made one big shot, a jump shot, but then the, the one that, that tilted the NBA world came, if we could see this one, he pulls up on a semi-break and shoots that three right in LeBron's face. And by the way, that three put them up one. That was with 47 seconds left. He makes that three. Then with 13 seconds left, Kevin had to go to the free throw line. They were up one at that point. He made both free throws to put them up three. They won that game 118 to 113 and obviously did not look back. Correct. Okay, so to me, if if Steph has to face LeBron two more times, th- they're, they're going to get crushed. They're again. not winning. Yeah, they're not going to go up three yeah. games to one because Le- LeBron, the, the confidence they game with Ty Lue as their coach, yeah, right? the confidence that they got from coming down from coming back uh, from three one in twenty sixteen, and Kyrie was uh, at his apex. Yeah, Kyrie has started. Kyrie, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think Kyrie averaged like twenty six. You know, twenty six. Uh, 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 a game in game in uh, games in yeah. in, in, in the uh, 2016 finals, Skip. But you look at it; he averaged 30 over the last three. LeBron averaged 33 because remember yeah. they put that 41 41 piece on him in Game Five. The only teammates to ever score 40 in an NBA Finals game combined two uh, teammates. So we know where Kyrie was headed. Kyrie was sensational. <sighs> Skip, they knew that. So we got to get an equalizer, but KD also, Skip. I don't believe KD. We would KD is ranked ahead of Steph Curry. I think in the end, I, I saw somewhere they said KD is the twelfth best player of all time. Yeah. And Steph is 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 a sixteen. The question is, both of these guys would be lower had they not leaked. I don't believe Steph Curry is going to be sixteen if he if he has two uh, MV, regular season MVPs and one title. Mm-hmm. I don't believe Kevin Durant is going to be as high as he is with one re- MVP and no and no titles. Yeah, because. The pressure was mostly on Kevin in 17 and 18 to be not the equalizer, to be the difference maker. Correct. And he rose and he shone. Yes. And I started saying, that's the best player on the planet. So I half joked on my podcast, really not even joked. Kevin Durant saved me from LeBron because he saved me from you. Because yes. if LeBron does win 17 and 18 titles to get to six and four now, you could come back at me and say, "Well, well, he's got six rings, just like Jordan does." And Obviously, he, Jordan was six and zero, oh, and he's going to be, and he's going to be the MVP in all of them, three P. Okay, and you could throw back at me. Well, LeBron went to eight straight finals, mm-hmm. and I would like to throw back at you. Well, Michael got sent home for a couple of years, right. or he would have gone to eight straight NBA. He, uh, he would have won eight straight NBA championships, won them all. Right, but but the point is. Your GOAT case would be hugely strengthened if you could say six rings to six rings. And Kevin Durant said no. He stopped that. Right. He was the one who shut that down. Right. The thing is, Skip, is that the reason why I say Kevin Durant needed Golden State as much as they needed him, do where else could he have gone? And we automatically say they're the title favorite. 
because they got installed as soon as he signed with Golden State. Golden State was the pre the the prohibited. Could he have stayed in OKC and they would have been the favorite? I don't believe they can. What are the landscape? Where else could he have gone? So that's why I say they he needed them because Skip he needed a situation where he just add water and we instantaneous is what like what these uh, uh, army what these uh, uh, military meal prep Skip. You know what I'm saying, Skip? Hey. Just add water that thing. You got lasagna. You got pizza. You got whatever it is. I, I got it. He was just so 